All right, and we are back in the lobby bar for the week of July the 25th, 2022. Brian and Michaela here with you. And Michaela, last week, you bought a bottle of Domain Decanton. I bought a bottle of Domain Decanton. Uh, maybe people listening out there also felt compelled to buy a bottle of this. And what are we going to do with this ginger liqueur now, you might ask? <laughs> We're going to drink it. We are going to, we are going to drink it. So uh, I was asking myself that same question. So we made up our cocktails for last week's episode, in which we made a Flossed in Paradise, which was delicious uh, and very worth the investment of getting the ginger liqueur. But I was like, what else are we going to use that for? And I promised on the show to bring a recipe for everyone uh, to make with their leftover uh, ginger liqueur. And this one's really good. It comes straight off Domaine Decanton's website. I'm going to have to say their website is excellent because you can search by uh, spirit and then it just lists out, you know, a bunch of good recipes for it. So I was looking through, I was like, what looks good? I was like, ooh, tequila, that sounds good. Uh, so the recipe that they brought to me and I'm bringing to everyone here at the lobby bar and to you, Michaela, is the Domaine Decanton Margarita. It's super simple, three ingredients. It is delicious. It's amazing. It is amazing. I'm so excited that we're going to, number one, put use to this uh, or for, for this bottle because the bottle's beautiful. It's a, it's a really nice liqueur if you like ginger. So we got to figure out some other things to do with it. This drink is great. When you first uh, originally sent me this picture, I was like, this looks awesome. And I have mm -hmm. to say, even though I'm, not super like I don't like a ton of ginger. I'm not one of those people that eats the pickled ginger by itself, but this was just gingery oh. enough. Oh, you don't? That's so delicious. But yeah, I mean, it is ginger. It is gingery enough. And uh, this one's super simple to make. So you're going to put into your uh, shaker tin uh, one and a half ounces of your Domaine de Canton, uh, or you probably just use, you know, whatever ginger liqueur you had. Uh, one and a half ounces of that. One ounce of Silver Margarita. Um, I use Patron because we had that for a previous recipe. And then a half an ounce of lime juice. Now, I don't ever really measure my lime juice. I usually just do like the squeeze of half of a lime for a half ounce, a whole lime for an ounce. So uh, just squeezed a half of a lime in there into the shaker tin, shake that up with ice, and then strain it out into a glass uh, that's also filled with ice. You can use a lime wedge to garnish. And uh, it's it's that simple. It's the three ingredients, and you are good to go. But it's it's clean and crisp from that you know silver tequila, but it has just this little hint of ginger it's so good. It's really good. Uh, it's, really it's, a good. Real, it's a really easy way to whip up a margarita and, you know, come up with something a little bit interesting. Uh, not your run of the mill margarita, but, you know, definitely hits all those notes and is real good. Yeah. 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 For you tequila lovers, do it. You will not regret it. That's right. Yeah. So give that a, give that a try. Or if you have any other good Domaine de Canton recipes, let us know that um, because we want to hear all that stuff, but give that one a shot. And what else were people giving a shot this week? That is the uh, next installment in uh, Jordan Peele's library of uh, uh, horror films, and that is Nope, had uh, took the weekend with $44 million, uh, followed by Thor, uh, Minions, Where the Crawdads Sing, and Top Gun Mavericks. Everything basically just moved down a spot to make room for Nope. $44 million, Michaela, that is quite the return. It is the biggest uh, box office result since uh, Jordan Peele's last uh, release of us uh, back in 2019. So of the uh, um, of the independent uh, news stories, uh, he he knows what he's doing, I guess, when it comes yeah. to telling these things. He sure is. And I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Uh, uh, spoiler warning. We uh, we're going to go see this. So we're going to get to mm -hmm. talk about it. I don't know if we're going to cover it, but we're thinking about it. And, uh, you know, it's I'm, I'm super excited. Everything he touches. So there's been a couple of films that he's um not directed, but that he either produced or he helped distribute. And um, mm. all of those are also amazing. So he yes. has, um, Jordan Peele has amazing taste, in my opinion. I think that um, everything he touches, I want to see. They um, they educate me. They open my mind. They make me think about things differently. Um, they challenge my, my interpersonal biases. I think everybody could use a little bit of that and they also deliver the good. So if it's a horror movie, it's a horror film. It's not dressed as mm -hmm. anything other than that. So, um, that I also loved. So it, he's, he's not super pretentious in what he's trying to do. Everything he does is great. So I really can't wait to see this film. That's right. Yeah. We are headed out to uh, see that tomorrow uh, as of recording. So definitely looking forward to that. And yeah, like Michaela said, we're, uh, we'll at least give you our thoughts, but yeah, we're uh, planning to maybe do a full episode on that. So let us know if you've 
been out to see nope uh but what does that do for the yearly box office standings nothing everything is still the same top gun doctor strange batman jurassic world and the minions rise of Gru are all staying in there in their same order in the top five Jurassic World is dangerously close to taking over the Batman. Uh, it is getting closer, but it is running out of time to do it because we are working our way through the summer. We are working our way through some releases. And Michaela, we've got two wide releases and a re-release this week coming out of nowhere. I was on the Regal Theater app. I was looking at what's coming uh, because E.T. is coming and I want to make sure I uh, get tickets for that. So I was just looking, you know, doing a little perusing as one does in the app. And I saw that everything everywhere all at once is getting a re-release. Uh, that's coming next week. It's coming back out to 800 theaters. So I don't know if that's just some a uh, little bit of Oscar prep from A24. If they're like, let's get this back out and in front of some eyes now that we're getting a little later in the in the year since it came out, you know, kind of early in the spring. So uh, I don't know everything everywhere all at once. You haven't seen it yet. You going to make it out to the theater to see it this time around? Or Yes, I am. Um, I am. You're so going to have to. You're gonna I am going to have to. I, I really yeah. am. Because you said that you loved it. You said that it was very uh different and weird and totally amazing so i need to go see it um mm -hmm. and i'm so excited because i don't know what we were doing uh what it was only out for like two weeks or something when it was first released so i'm really excited um that it's coming back out so that i can get, get a chance to see it on the big screen that's right so we have that uh coming back out uh as a re-release so check your theaters to see if uh, you'll be picking it up there and then we have uh two new releases coming we have vengeance uh, which is uh, the film directorial debut from B.J. Novak. You might remember him from uh, playing Ryan on The Office. He is mostly uh, known as uh, doing some like comedy writing. So he wrote like episodes of The Office. I, he wrote I, for one of the late shows, I think. Um, at some point, he wrote a bunch of like The Mindy Project. Um, and he's done some TV directing, but this will be his first uh, feature length film uh, that he's directing. It sounds kind of like a little murder mystery thing i assume it's going to have some humor in there because that's what he's good at writing so we'll have to see and then dc league of super pets michaela you have a pet is it a dc super pet <laughs> well of course um my corduroy is totally a super pet he is the super couch sitting uh old man pet superhero mm. that I'm, I i'm sure i'm sure there's there's one in this in this group of uh, animals that fits that description and he is definitely that that's right. That's right. Yes. So uh, DC League of Super Pets is coming out. We'll have to see if that uh, can take a bite out of the minions. Oh, that was a that was a pet pun right there. Um, so we'll see how that does. We'll see how Nope does in its second week. We'll see if uh, everything everywhere all at once is able to uh, cash in and keep those box office dollars rolling because it is doing uh, quite well there. And uh, yeah, but for now, Michaela, uh, I'm going to make up another margarita. And we're going to have to sneak in because our movie is about to start.